my kid here and you guys are wondering what i'm gonna be ranting on if you guys have already checked the title below um this video uh this is going to be called pokemon bank rant okay before you guys are wondering like what's wrong with the pokemon bank um honestly i don't know yet because it's not released in the u.s yet um unless you have a japanese 3ds and that's like one of the things i'm gonna have to talk about because um i'm pissed off at those people who have the japanese 3ds you know those lucky i'm not gonna say it but first l let me talk about what pokemon bank is if you guys already know, uh, if you have Pokemon X or Pokemon Y, and you might already know that I already have it because I've um, made a video, well, video series that has my friend code for Pokemon X and Y, um, so you guys can add me uh, to your friends list if you guys want to, and I was waiting patiently. For um, Pokemon Bank to be released. And you know. I could wait. For how long. It doesn't matter how long it takes. For that. Um, that app to come out. Because realistically. I don't really care. If the app. Comes out. Unless. The fact that like the whole thing. Like. Um, I'm able to transfer my Pokemon from Pokemon White and Pokemon White 2 um, onto um, my other, I mean, Pokemon, I mean, Pokemon White. Blah. I'm s messing up already. <laughs> and, you know, like, you, you guys are wondering, like, oh, is that the problem? Not really. Um, like, I could wait. It doesn't really matter when it comes out. Um... But there was a problem with, and this is when I'm going to be raging. This is where I'm going to have to complain and stuff like that. And I'm not going to complain that, oh, it's Japan's fault. Because realistically, it's not just Japan who did it, you know. It's not just uh, Japan who did it. Because if you think about it. You know, Nintendo, well, actually, um, the creators of Pokemon Bank, as well as Nintendo of Japan, they're trying to work on that app just so that we're able to transfer our Pokemon. But here's the thing that I need to complain about before um, I continue on. Why didn't you guys create the a backup plan like what if like we just want to transfer our pokemon from x and y i mean not x and y from black and white to the games by just you know trading i mean not trading I, oh wait now i remember why you can't do that now i figured it out never mind i'm not gonna go over it now because i just figured it out <laughs> um But I'm going to have to talk about this now. And it's like, why didn't you guys have a second plan? Like, why didn't you guys just create this um, thing that you could use on your 3DS when you freaking updated Pokemon X and Y twice? You know, allowing people to transfer their Pokemon easily without the app whatsoever a Pokemon bank you know that's that's my question you know that's pretty much a question that I'm wondering about and why did I do that what is going on okay so the main problem with this is that, you know, like, technical issues can happen. 
You know, technical issues can cause problems for an app to be released. And that's what happened on uh, December 25th and 26th. Due to the fact that the 3DS app of Pokemon Bank was released, a lot of people, I mean, and not just for um, 3DS, but also Wii U, um, a lot of people were getting games, getting a lot of content from the eShop, and the eShop crashed. Meaning that the, the, um, that due to the release uh, of Pokemon Bank, as well as some other games that were released during that time in December, um, caused the eShop to crash. So now they're trying to fix um, the eShop as well as, you know, make sure that the app's available in the U.S. and other countries um, in the western side of the world. But, you know, like, the problem with this is that it's not just Japan who did it, right? You know... I can understand, like, a lot of people in Japan love Pokemon. Well, that that's just an assumption, okay? That's an assumption saying that a lot of people in Japan love Pokemon, which is somewhat true. But a lot of people around the world really love Pokemon, you know? And it didn't matter, like, when the game was coming out, you know? Well, actually, um... And the only way to play Pokemon was on a 3DS. And remember when the 3DS was first released in Japan, people who had, uh, who thought of, oh, all I need to do is get a Japanese 3DS and I'm good. And so a lot of people, um, I mean, well, some people in the United States, some people in other countries got 3DSs from Japan or were made for Japanese um, I mean with the Japanese um, version made you know and some of us, for example, myself, we got the North American version, the European, the and other versions of the console itself. And for me to complain about, you know, Japanese uh, 3DS users, you know, mainly being the problem, I'm going to get to that first. But let me complain about uh, what was wrong with that first time that they released Pokemon Bank. Okay. The day when it was released was Christmas. That's like one of the hectic times during the year when it comes to people buying for their children. People buying for their family members that have a Wii U or 3DS, you know. And I can understand how, you know, people can get upset that uh, the Wii U version, I mean, not the Wii U um, version, uh, Wii U and um, 3DS eShops can crash. I can understand that. And that's the problem. People are buying so much on eShop during that time. So, one of the things that uh, Japan needs to do, I mean, Nintendo needs to do specifically, is make sure that the eShop is is fine w during that time. Because that's like one of the best times to crash uh, with people buying products from the eShop. Like games, uh, updates, and etc.
and I can understand that, you know, it's going to crash. But the one thing that I don't understand is why did a lot of Japanese 3DS users have to get the Japanese 3DS? What, to get the game earlier? You know, be able to get the Japanese version of the game before everyone else? You know, I, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that, you know, a lot of people can get the the Japanese version, you know, before anyone else can get it. And, you know, that's fine because that's not really my problem. You know, but on that day of when the Pokemon Bank was released, a lot of people, not just Japanese, were able to gain access to uh, that app. And I know people are going to be like, oh, why are you so jealous of them? Then I'm not being jealous. I'm telling you guys the truth. That you people are so freaking lucky of getting those Japanese 3DSs. And I don't care who you are. It doesn't matter if you're... Uh, someone who I watch personally or not. I don't like how this affected, you know, the eShop, you know. If you guys can at least wait two days, two days until that app gets released in the US and other countries in the West the app would have been fine you know the app would have been fine if it was released in two days and you could have waited for two days just two days to wait for that and then that thing had to crash. You know, it's thanks to people who don't think of what consequences that they are making to really um, impact um, the future in a way. So now everyone's going to have to wait until the the Pokemon Bank gets re-released in Japan. And then the fact that people are going to have to wait until the bank gets released in the West. And I know people are going to be like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. You know, like, I, I'm okay with waiting for it. But we already know who to blame for it. It's not Nintendo. It's not the Pokemon Company. It's not the Japanese or the Japanese people who have their 3DSs. It's everyone who had a Japanese 3DS. Everyone who had a Japanese 3DS is at fault on this. Okay? And we all have to wait until that thing comes out then. Now. So. And I know I'm kind of sounding a little bit hypocritical. Like, you know, like why are you blame, blaming the people who have those Japanese 3 S's, you know how it's unfair that some people can get an advantage for a couple of days or a couple of weeks that's why Pokemon X and Y was out on the same day you know around the world so that's pretty much it with this rant. I really need. I just need to get that off my chest. 
And I already did a rant on freaking YouTube already, so this was the second best topic to deal with. So, that's currently happening right now. And realistically, if you guys can understand my position on this, you know, you know, I was patiently waiting for that app to come out for the 3DS. And I know I wasn't really patiently waiting because um, on Thursday night, like around 12 o'clock, you know, I was actually waiting for it um, to be released. But then heard the news that it was like um, it was going to be taken down and the thing was delayed. You know. So, you know, it's just something that I thought of doing for this video. Um, if you guys do have a Japanese 3DS and you guys want to tell me that I'm just talking bullcrap, you know, that's fine. I don't care about uh, what you guys are going to say back to me if... If you say it is bullcrap, but if you guys have good, you know, good intentions of why I'm, you're going against what I'm saying right now, of why it's not Nintendo's fault, not it's not um, Japan's fault, it's everyone who has a Japanese 3DS's fault, you know, that's... That's your choice to decide, you know. I'm just mad about this whole situation. And I really wanted to freaking get my uh, fifth generation Pokemon. I mean, my... Actually, it was like all five generations. I have all five generations on Pokemon White. And I'm still waiting patiently. Well, waiting um, for that app to come out, so... That is it with this video. If you guys liked the topic, um, do it do it for your channels. If you guys want to, uh, make sure you guys check out the other videos on my channel. Um, if you guys are patiently waiting as well, um, you know I'm. I don't mind you know hearing from everyone else of how they feel about it, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any responses on this topic, uh, just put in the comment section below. I'll still read it if it's against my, um, uh, opinion or something like that. Because everyone has an opinion, pretty much. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and peace out, you guys. And hopefully we'll be able to get our 